Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving my Cancer October 2017 horoscope forecast. Well, first thing is, well, as far as October goes, the sun will be in Libra from October 1st uh, to the 23rd, and there could be a strong focus uh, connected with the home and family, uh, relationships. Uh, there may be uh, some reconciliation uh, associated with uh, people in the home and family life uh, using uh, perhaps that Libra charm and uh, diplomacy and really about uh, wanting uh, fairness and, and things that are and, and things being equitable with the home and family. There may also be some focus connected uh, with getting in touch with one's roots and uh, traditions. Now, as far as October goes, uh, the sun will be in Scorpio from the 23rd to the 31st, and that focus uh, may very strongly be connected with uh, love and romance. It could be digging deep, maybe some investigation in some cases connected with somebody that you're involved in a, a romantic relationship with. It could be really digging beyond the surface in these matters as well, uh, so more than superficially, making sure that these uh, this person uh, may have the right intention uh, for you or intentions for you. And it could also be doing things as Scorpio-like, perhaps that are connected, you know, as far as fun and enjoyment and things associated with Scorpio, such as astrology, the occult, supernatural, um, maybe getting into the uh, you know mystery shows uh watching like forensic files uh, episodes things like that so anyway or even playing like some kind of detective games now well the full moon will be in aries um on october uh, on october 4th and the what the 10th house is what will be emphasized and in, in highlighted for cancer now this is uh this is something where one may i mean the full moon is about often reaching a culmination getting full and tired of something it could be tired of a contentious situation connected with one's career it could be maybe some ac strong acrimony expressed over maybe uh, maybe one's reputation and finally saying something about this well enough is enough it could be a contentious situation with an authority figure or perhaps even in some cases the dominant parent which is often the father and this is the and this is the time or it could even be in some cases some career associated with something airy something combative like like the martial arts or boxing or something or something like that and one might just be tired of it at this point in time now also, the new moon in Libra will be on October 19th, and of course, the fourth house is what will be accentuated and highlighted for Cancer. Now, this could be a time, perhaps, when one uh, starts perhaps a new uh, relationship in the family or does something new connected, maybe with something Libra-like, some art from the home, some maybe... Uh, maybe starting some legal uh work out of the home uh perhaps it could be something it could also be something artistic and really it, it could just simply be about um about just maybe maybe something new as i stated before with the uh maybe maybe as far as the relationship goes with somebody out of them or someone you just feel close to home with uh perhaps so uh maybe a new period of peace and tranquility in in one's uh, home life and, uh, and it could even and it could even be with the, the the less dominant parent which is often the mother so anyway well mercury will be in libra as far as october goes from the first to the 17th and the fourth house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for this period now this could be there could be a lot of um, communications in the home life um that are very Libra-like during this time with a lot of tact diplomacy and reconciliation, wanting to uh, make comp have compromise maybe with, um, with family members. This could be a lot more conversations perhaps with the less dominant parent uh, and often peaceful ones, uh, which is the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother. And uh, 
This could also be, I mean, even conversations regarding the end of life. And this is not being morbid or morose, people. This is just I'm saying. Uh, as far as making maybe balanced plans, formulating maybe some plans mentally, as far as the latter part of one's uh, life goes, and uh, and in wanting it to be uh, at, a, at a to be very peaceful and very tranquil, and let, and, and something where. It'll be where it's not full. It's not connected with any discord or strife because Libra is, of course, really about peace. So anyway, well, as far as October goes, Mercury will be in Scorpio from October 17th uh, through the 31st. And the fifth house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for Cancer. Now, this could be uh, a lot of incisive communications, perhaps with children, if applicable, and with a love and a rom romantic uh, partner, uh, perhaps. This could be really uh, maybe about digging deep into a romantic relationship, making sure, and with children in romance, that there's no subterfuge in any way, that the people are being truthful and, and voracious uh, with you. And there could also be I mean, in some cases, especially for people that are in an astrology, occult, supernatural field, more writings connected within a lot of, in, as far as enjoyment with it, because the fifth house is about what we enjoy uh, as well. And uh, also, I mean, there, 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 I mean, you look at this, this could also be some communications perhaps connected with gambling and uh and speculation and and really digging deep into things that which really you would think would be the most profitable if you're doing anything of a speculative uh, nature so anyway well venus uh will be in virgo as far as october goes from the first to the 14th and of course the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted and this could be expressing a lot of uh, enjoyment, uh, perhaps maybe with neighbors or with siblings, if applicable, maybe doing things of an intellectual, analytical nature. It could be some intellectual activities or some games. I mean, I mean, for it could also be, uh, in some cases, it could be that if uh, cancer is unattached and doesn't have a significant other, that one uh, may find one maybe in their neighborhood, or uh, it could just be a, you know somebody just in uh, the general area, and, and it could be done with a lot of um, I guess you could say like a lot of Virgo uh, type discretion and analysis. Uh, so anyway, um, Venus, as far as October goes, will be in Libra from October 14th uh, through the 31st. And, well, this will be, during this time, uh, the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for cancer. So this is about a, a really seeking and striving for peace and tranquility in the home life and wanting, and, and maybe some uh, desire to have the latter part of life being very tranquil and peaceful. And also it could be, uh, Beautifying the home, perhaps, um, maybe with things connected with art, even uh, having a very peaceful and tranquil relationships in the home and ones where you will uh, maybe enjoy the power of, of mediation and, and reconciliation, perhaps with home and uh, family life. And it might be a lot more purchases of art items uh, for the home as well. And it might be purchases even connected with one's uh, one's traditions, perhaps, as well. So, um, anyway, well, Mars will be in Virgo as far as October goes from the 1st to the 22nd, and the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. And there could be a lot of, uh, as far as communication goes, there might be a lot of mental and physical activity during this time, and but with, but really, in a really kind of a, a, a maybe in a frantic uh, Virgo manner when things having to get done really in a hurry and worrying about things getting done in a hurry could be doing uh, some a lot of things uh, perhaps with a lot of analysis in uh, with neighbors perhaps uh, or something connected with with transportation such as vehicles doing a lot of analysis uh, maybe with vehicles this could be 
At the same time, there could be some acrimonious experiences, perhaps with siblings, if applicable, and or neighbors, and really, oh, and, and really arguing with a lot of that uh, judge, really with a lot of criticism and a lot of that judgmental, uh, you know, criticism that can often be associated with uh, Virgo like energy. A lot of this complaining uh, and my and really. That's what uh, that's what this could be as far as uh, for cancer during uh, this time. Now, also, though, uh, as far as October goes, Mars will be in Libra from the October 22nd to the 31st uh, of the month. So this all this will highlight and emphasize uh, the fourth house uh, for cancer. So it could indicate that there may be some contentious and combative situations uh, with people in the home and the family life, but it may be done in more of a passive aggressive type Libra way, not in a real combative or angry or acrimonious manner, but in a way where, you know, if, if you ask somebody to do something in your home and, and they, they just ignore you and then they just don't respond to it, that it could be situations uh, like that and also be careful of maybe accidents in the home as well during this time and there could be a lot of energy uh, really physical vitality uh, but balance put into things connected with the roots and uh, one's uh, traditions and also maybe even matters pertaining to uh, the end of life so anyway and it could also be doing work around uh, the home or some kind of home restorations and putting a lot of that uh, that Mars energy and vitality into it. Now, Jupiter will be in Libra as far as this month goes from the 1st uh, to the 10th. And the 4th house is what will be uh, emphasized and highlighted for Cancer. Now, this could bring uh, some luck and fortune in matters pertaining to the home. It could be by using the powers of uh, Libra negotiation. Uh, it could be uh, it could be selling uh, could be selling a home perhaps for some people, and it really it could show a lot of exuberance and expansive energy in matters connected with the home with the family. It could be some real estate. Uh, it it could also be maybe in matters uh, connected with what is generally uh, the less dominant parent, which is often the mother, and and really and maybe in one's roots and one's traditions. Uh, as well and I think this could be uh, people you know cancer can have some luck by showing this this ability uh, to negotiate to compromise in, in as far as matters of the home uh, go showing tact and diplomacy they may be able to create their own luck that way as far as home related matters go at this time now score uh, Jupiter will enter Scorpio on October 10th as far as October goes I mean it enters it on the 10th but it'll stay there of course till till October 31st and of course a long ways after that and uh, th in this case the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for cancer now uh, cancer may be able to generate uh, luck perhaps uh, in romantic matters if they're unattached if, if without a significant other it could be done uh, by really by using a, a Scorpio like ability perhaps to look beyond the superficial to look deep uh, the ability to look deep into others um, it could also be in some cases especially for people that are astrologers maybe or in Scorpio like professions it could be very good for them in terms of enjoyment during this time as far as like for example somebody in astrology the occult supernatural somebody that's in forensics or in some kind of investigation or psychology field this could be a time where they could put a lot of this enthusiasm into it and really enjoy it uh, as well so these are those are some things to look at as far as that goes and also be careful though cancer to as a possible gambling street during this time uh, because this could um I mean, Scorpio energy, of course, could be very uh, powerful uh, and, and really can be obsessive. So I think Jupiter and Scorpio, and then you mix it with the fifth, you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, well, Saturn uh, will still be in Sagittarius, of course, during this time. And that will be the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Cancer. So during this time, uh, Cancer makes experience 
I mean, there may be some limitations or restrictions in matters pertaining to health that could be connected with the Sagittarius-like things, such as maybe the thighs or the hamstrings. And it also could be a time where one shows maybe uh, discipline in their daily routine, um, in their work, employment life, and also con things connected pertaining up to one's health. So um, anyway, uh, and also uh, this could be a time too where you might be, you're, you're, maybe your work life might be making you feel a little bit more melancholy and despondent. So it's something to look at perhaps for some cancer people during this time. Now, Uranus, of course, will still be in Aries and the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for cancer. And uh, some cancers maybe may experience some chaos or, or, or some erratic and sporadic con, um, things going on connected with one's career and vocation. This could be a time where maybe you see an authority figure uh, or maybe even uh, the dominant uh, parent, which is usually the father, express some ingenuity and a pioneering spirit as well. Uh, also, there might be some unpredictable things going on connected with one's reputation during this time. Now, Neptune will be will still be in Pisces, and of course, uh, the ninth house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for Cancer during this time. And during this time, well, keep in mind that Neptune will still be in retrograde in October of 2017. So in some cases, this is isolated, but you may see, I mean, uh, somebody, a, a grandchild, if applicable, or an in-law, if applicable, could be. Uh, you know, if they, if one of them had a, a drug or alcohol problem before, you could see one of them maybe going back to it, reverting back to it. And this also could be uh, maybe, uh, I mean, the ninth house is about higher education. It could be learning something in higher education connected with the metaphysical, which could include astrology. It could include something like uh, photography or, or something just Neptune related, such as chemistry. The, these are some things uh, to look at and, and even maybe con some things that are associated with spirituality. And there might be some, I mean, as far as there might be some confusion and, and or maybe the, the philosophical outlook is a little bit nebulous during this time uh, for cancer. So anyway, well, Pluto will still be in Capricorn, of course, and obviously then the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for cancers. So some cancers may experience some transformation or metamorphosis pertaining to one's relationships. It could be a partnership situation. Also, it could be some destructive open adversaries at this time as well. So be careful, Cancer. Now, Pluto does govern death. In many cases, it's really a figurative death as opposed to literal one. But at the same time, uh, some cancers may experience some sorrow connected maybe with the death of a significant other. It could also be the, maybe the death of, a, of an open adversary. I'm not saying by cancer, but it could still happen. Um, I mean, that, that is a possibility. Or somebody even in a business uh, partnership that cancer may uh, be with, or maybe a legal matter may come to a close and, and end during this time and be obliterated. So anyway, well, the North Node, of course, is still going to be in Leo during this time. And the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for cancer. So this could be about for cancer taking pride in dignity in monetary matters, in in your self-esteem and your self-worth during this time, Cancer. And it could be about, um, be careful too, because Leo could also be flamboyant energy. And you don't necessarily, if you're making, you know, you're, you're coming to a period where you're making a prodigious amount of money, you know, you don't necessarily want to brag to the wrong people about this because then, of course, you could attract the wrong uh, type of friends during this time. But it could be about showing mag uh, being more magnanimous, perhaps, with your money, with the right people during this time. And that could be part of your, uh, you know, direction that you may be going in Cancer. So also, um, the Black Moon Lilith will still be in Sagittarius, of course, during this time. And that will be uh, the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Cancer at this time. Now, 
This could be some kind of unveiling, maybe of a health matter that you didn't maybe want to set, talk about before, something Sagittarius related, which could be something like with the thighs or, or like hamstrings or something that maybe you just didn't feel uncomfortable about divulging or disclosing before. This could be maybe somebody, uh, an employee at work, maybe uh, comes out with some warped uh, philosophy or how you see it as warped comes out with something or there's something nefarious with somebody you know at work that comes out and you you know didn't have suspicions about uh before so those are i mean some things uh to perhaps look at during uh, as far as that goes now last but not least okay chiron will still be in pisces during this time and the ninth house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for cancer so some may experience maybe some wounds uh maybe it's connected with maybe some confusion over maybe higher education uh, perhaps not being able to make a decision uh that way there might be but at the same time remember that the uh, chiron could also be about healing others and it could be about healing perhaps um in-laws or grandchildren if applicable through that compassionate and empathetic uh, Piscean uh, energy. Uh, so those are some things uh, to look at as far as uh, this forecast goes for, for Cancer for October 2017. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the Cancer October 2017 horoscope forecast. Stay tuned next time where I'm going to be giving my take on the September 20th, 2017 new moon in Virgo, and then I'm going to be continuing with my uh, October 2017 horoscope forecast for the rest of the signs. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well